Hmm. 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 A Volkswagen truck? What do you think about that, everybody? A Volkswagen truck. Hmm. Well, according to PickupTrucks.com, they got an article out right now online about a Volkswagen truck. So, I'm going to share this information with you. I've been getting a lot of information on some of these websites lately. Good content to share it with y'all. Because I know a lot of my subscribers just don't have time to necessarily read all the articles on all these different websites. So, why not just come to one place with your boy Chad here and learn a little. Let's get it started right now. All right, so Volkswagen, let's go ahead and dive right into this article. VW looks to Ford for next generation global and U.S. pickup. Okay, so they're looking at Ford at this new Ford Ranger. Well, Volkswagen, there's no Ford Ranger even on a car lot for sale right now. So, <laughs> I mean, when are we going to get a Ford Ranger to freaking test drive a review? I don't know. I guess it's going to be soon, though. I'm pretty sure about that because with all the changes with the new Chevy Silverado, the Colorado's been out, you know, and everything else going on, it's time for Ford to go ahead and get this Ranger right on the showroom floor of even out the dealership out there in the country with Ravenel Ford. So we're excited to see it, but we're seeing it right here. Pretty good looking truck. I'm really kind of liking what we're seeing with this Ford Ranger. And, you know, here's the thing, folks. Ford didn't take the bailout money a few years ago when everything kind of went to the crapper. So, you know, that's a good thing for Ford because companies like Volkswagen that do really well are absolutely going to look to Ford to get some help on building a nice truck, right? Now, we're going to read through this article. I've already kind of browsed through a little bit before we started recording this video. And some of the article or some of the stuff in here talks about the Volkswagen Atlas and how maybe they can use that platform and that chassis and everything off the Atlas to put a truck on top of and because it's a unibody. So that may be the way to go. But it might be a good way to go to already just use a great company like Ford to use that use to make to make a truck. Okay. So, anyways, not long after Ford and Volkswagen entered into a partnership to create production efficiencies, as we know, Ford builds a good bit of their vehicles in Mexico. Who else builds vehicles in Mexico? Volkswagen. So that's what we're talking about here. The industry was buzzing about the possibilities, not the least of which was the prospect of a brand new Ford Ranger. See, they're sharing a plant, it sounds like to me. And you know, they got the Volkswagen engineers, got the Ford truck engineers and all these people kind of working together, talking, hanging out, high-fiving in the break rooms while opening up their lunch boxes or going out for a little uh, salsa on their lunch break. And, you know, hey, chips and salsa gets people talking, a little tequila. Next thing you know, those guys at Volkswagen are like, hold on a minute. They got a nice-looking truck there, that Ford Ranger. That thing looks good going down the production line. I think it's time to – let's let's ask this guy – let's ask these people if they want to go out to dinner tonight, and let's talk about making a truck. Hmm? Sound like a good idea? Yeah. All right. So that may be what's going on. I don't know. But it says right here, according to Automotive News, talks between the two automakers are revolving around how VW could take advantage of the Ford Ranger as the perfect platform for the next generation Amarok. Amarok. I'm probably killing the name of this vehicle. But anyways, you get what I'm saying, which could also mean it would likely be sold in the U.S., of course, on the flip side, Volkswagen could use its new Atlas SUV unibody platform to create something more in line with the Tanoke pickup concept we first saw at the 2018 New York International Auto Show. Automotive News is reporting that the VW executives have not decided which direction to go, but it certainly sounds like they want to get into the lucrative U.S. truck marketplace with something more than a commercial vehicle. However, Volkswagen had mixed results in the past when it collaborated with Chrysler using the town and country minivan as a platform for the Volkswagen Routon. Y'all remember the Routon? I did a video on a Routon a few months ago. I mean, it just wasn't, uh, I don't know. 
Anyways, wasn't a top seller. And as they said right here, the rebadge model was premium priced and ultimately failed. And they quit selling the Rutan, okay? So anyways, Volkswagen, stick with what you already have with minivans and just get your butt having one right here in America. I'm tired of seeing them all over in California and different countries. Let's get us a nice looking minivan right here, Volkswagen. I'd love to see it. I'm sure there's a lot of people that could agree with me on that. Anyways, it says whether VW and... Uh, eliminates the Honda Ridgeline with the Atlas Tanoke or follows a more commercially popular path of La the Ford Ranger, whatever that means. It looks like the U.S. midsize pickup class will continue to grow and Volkswagen will be the first European automaker to enter the fray. Wow, man, that sounds kind of, that sounds kind of, kind of good. Yeah. So anyways, would Volkswagen probably outdo Honda's Ridgeline? Yes, I know they would. I feel they would. So, you're excited? I'm excited. Let's take a look at a picture of maybe what one could look like. Oh my God, that is beautiful. The front end. Again, this is just a top-down view of the truck, but man, that looks good. I mean, I'm seeing it. Ooh, that's a truck, right? That is what a truck is supposed to look like. Honda, please give me a break. You know, the past Honda Ridge lines look like Chevy Avalanches. The Honda Ridge line now just looks like a weak truck. I know it's got some cool stuff about it. I mean, I've reviewed them. I've test driven them. I did a 360 cam review test drive all the way to downtown in one. I mean, I've done a lot of stuff in the Honda Ridge line. It is a nice vehicle with nice amenities and options and features. But still, at the end of the day, the new Honda Ridgeline still does not feel or look like a man's truck. This right here looks good. I like it. Thank you so much for watching with us. Have a great day. Get in the comment section. Let us know what you think about this jam-up Volkswagen truck. Would you buy a Volkswagen truck? I know there's some Volkswagen people out there that would love to have a VW truck, but what about you guys? If you're a Ford truck driver, a Chevy, GMC, Ram, Toyota, would you eventually switch over and buy something new and fresh and European? You just might. Let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you soon. I'm Chad, signing out. Booyah.